What's up, everybody? It's Josh coming at you from Nerd Avengers Tower, and we need to talk about Reva and Moses Ingram, some of the harassment that she is facing, what Star Wars is doing in response to that, and why this is causing such a kerfuffle online. Now, this is obviously a particularly triggering and sensitive issue for a lot of different folks for many different reasons. I'm going to try to do my best to explain what I think is operating here, why certain people are feeling the way that they are feeling. And I want to just kind of try to as openly and honestly as I can explain to you what I think is going on here, because I, I think it is very obvious and apparent that any kind of harassment towards an actor or an actress is way over the line, way just beyond the pale. And especially when it comes to attacks based on somebody's race or or some uh, quality other than their performance, it's just so freaking weird to me. So like, I ultimately think, number one, you should not be like hitting actors up at all like i think that's a bunch of weird stuff and like people that do that are weird as moses pointed out on her instagram video talking about it like yeah those kind of people weirdos like i don't know how else to say it like if you're hitting up an actor complaining about their shit or like talking about them like you are straight up a weirdo but there are a lot of people that are upset that star wars would respond in such a way and they feel like it is lucasfilm yet again sort of picking a side in the culture war or painting a bunch of fans that have issues with the way Disney and Star Wars is treating their characters uh, with a sort of a broad brush. Like to say that any person that has a problem with Reva or with Moses Ingram is racist is obviously also ridiculous. I guess for me, the issue is I'm seeing a lot of people say like Star Wars is attacking the fans or you know, Star Wars is doing the same old thing again. And look, I've looked at what Star Wars said several different times. I actually don't think that's what's going on. I don't think there's anything in there that has them being super aggressive towards fans or trying to say that everybody that has a problem with Reva is racist. That's not what's going on here. Now, there is a history of Star Wars, you know, via different Lucasfilm employees or whatever, making comments that do frame a lot of people that have criticisms with a very negative brush, right? So like a lot of people will call back to moments during the sequel trilogy where people like J.J. Abrams would get on late night TV and say, oh, well, the people that don't like Rey are just mad that Han Solo gave the Millennium Falcon to a girl. And I think, you know, things like that are a little bit more... I guess, okay to get frustrated with and to be aggressive about because it's like, nah, man, like a lot of people just didn't think Ray was that great. They didn't have anything to do with her being female. But in this exact example, I don't see anything in what Star Wars actually said that paints any portion of the fan base with a broad brush. Uh, obviously, like racism is horrible. And so anybody that is racist or that wants to perpetuate that in the Star Wars fandom absolutely needs to be shot down. And I'm glad, frankly, that Star Wars is coming uh, to the aid of Moses here and perpetuating that point. You know, Star Wars has a really bad history of, you know, coming after the different actors and being really toxic uh, to different fans, you know, like the kid that played Anakin, like Ahmed Best, you know, like many different characters, Kelly Marie Tran, et cetera, et cetera. I do think that Star Wars fans unfortunately are overly passionate and sometimes take it to a far extreme place uh now you can make all kinds of like little arguments about that like i know some people are like nah man like kelly marie tran wasn't actually forced off social media that was like sort of a, a weird thing you know that was actually created by people that wanted to make the phantom menace look bad or whatever like i've heard that before uh i've heard people say like oh jake lloyd wasn't actually attacked by fans it was the journalists or whatnot but i think by and large you know this reputation is at least partially earned by Star Wars fans uh, for being toxic and for harassing people and just being like basically toxic. So having said that, like, again, I think people that are saying like, oh, Star Wars is attacking fans again. Like, I think that's crazy. There's nothing in this exact statement that makes me feel that way. But I also do understand why some folks are so ready to be triggered in that way, because I do believe Lucasfilm has a history of making these kind of comments and different Lucasfilm employees saying different things like this that basically want to say that a bunch of people that have problems with the way Disney is handling the Star Wars IP are 
are an ism or you know are, have some kind of bigoted quality to them and when it comes to Riva I mean obviously yeah there are some really horrible hurtful people maybe even just a really small group that's either using bots or just other accounts to you know try to get in touch with her and yeah those people are absolute weirdos they need condemned wholly and completely but Star Wars as a fandom does not actually have a racism problem I mean there have been a ton of characters in the last couple of years and throughout the history of Star Wars that are you know a person of color or whatnot that did not receive even a modicum uh, of the amount of backlash and, and hate that Reva is getting. Like for instance, Ming Na Wen, Sasha Banks, Sandy Newton, Naomi Aki, Rosario Dawson, Donald Glover, Billy D. Williams, Samuel L. Jackson, even Carl Weathers, all different characters that were really like positively received by the Star Wars fan base. All of these characters are people of color. And so if Star Wars really and truly had a big problem with like a ton of racists in the fandom, then many of those characters, if not all of them, would have been met with the same level of backlash and, um, you know, just negativity as Reva has. That's not what's going on with Reva. Now, I did a big thread on Twitter and I was asking people because I was just so curious as to like why this is exactly happening and why there's so much emotion and turmoil with this exact subject. And I asked people, do you think that believing something is woke inherently makes you racist? Or is that a racist idea, right? Like thinking something is woke. And for the purposes of this video, I'll just define that as something that is uh, leaning in the left of the political spectrum and is pushing sort of progressive ideals like representation for all kinds of different groups, including minorities, including LGBT characters, you know, all of that sort of stuff. And a lot of you said, like, maybe it's not inherently racist, but it definitely is like racism light or it has racist undertones. And I think that's kind of where part of this disconnect is coming from. I think there are plenty of Star Wars fans out there that are frustrated that political correctness and pushing an idea of representation is at the forefront of what Star Wars is trying to do. And I think that the most honest people within that group are simply concerned that doing this is actually going to set up bad characters because if you prioritize that kind of stuff over organic storytelling having characters struggle so that they can grow you know those sort of things then you're really weakening the story for a political ideology and of course nobody wants that like i want to bring this tweet up and this was in the big thread that i did sort of talking about this on twitter this is a dude named hilton uh hilton Hilton is a person of color. He let me know that earlier on in the thread. And he says here, the problem I think is Lucasfilm likes to put minorities in a place where the character they're playing are almost purposely up for attack because they are not written the best. Finn, Rose, Reva so far are examples. Uh, and he says that racists feed off that. Now, he does go on to talk about how he's pretty sure a lot of people would have blown her up anyways and all of that. But that's kind of the key point for me here is that there's this weird thing going on where people are getting preemptively mad that other people have issues with Reva. And they're sort of saying like, oh, well, there must be some racist undertones or something to that. And the problem is that this is another example of Lucasfilm, not the actress, not a bunch of Star Wars fans, but Lucasfilm writing a person and a character and casting that character as a person of color and putting that character into a story in a way that I think is obviously set up to incite people. This is an example of a character that I think, depending on how the rest of the show goes, will be unlikable to many, many people and perhaps by design. It's like, why did they have to have Reva, played by Moses Ingram, be such a divisive character? It's like, I kind of feel like they set Moses Ingram up for a bad time. And I know there are a lot of people out there saying like, oh, the fandom menace crowd or the get woke, go broke, whatever it is, uh, that crowd is was like already ready, you know, already ready to be upset uh, about Reva. But that's kind of dishonest as well, because a lot of people are upset about Reva because of the plot leaks that are out there that making Star Wars put out in which Reva has this weirdly important role in not only the story, but in Star Wars canon. We're gonna have to wait to see how that actually shakes out. But I got super triggered by that. And again, I feel like they're setting her up for a bad time by choosing her to play 
play such a character that will have such a divisive outcome in the fandom. So I guess in conclusion, like obviously racism, horrible. Anybody that's reaching out to actors about a role they play, absolute weirdos. And we should condemn all of that stuff 100%. I think that people that are saying that Star Wars is out here attacking fans, you're way too sensitive.